Alright guys, this should be of interest to many of you as these vehicles are getting older. Uh, I have a 2004 Ford Explorer and I need to actually do a cluster on it. So uh, we're going to pull it out and I'm going to show you how. Okay, the first thing we need to do is pull these two 7mm bolts and they're um, under the steering column here, this finish panel. Sometimes they stick in there like that. Sometimes they fall out. After that, you just grab from the top and the whole thing will come off. You can see it just has retainers that push in. And then we have two more 7mm bolts. This is pretty similar to 2006 and newer. One here and one here. At this point, let's pull these two 7mm bolts right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pull the steering column all the way down. Okay. And then we're going to pull this trim panel right here. And uh, there's no more retainers to it. We've got the rest of the, we've got all the bolts out already. Um, but this one gets overlapped by this one. And this one's a real, real pain to get out there. The, the retainers in here are push pins push retainers, um, but they're really, really tight. So if you start prying down here with any kind of tool, you're going to start getting indent marks, and it's like a soft uh, foam with a hardened overlay for the texture here, and it goes all the way around except for right here. So, so we're going to pry up here. That seems to be the best spot. And then once that top part pops, we can start working it all the way around. Let's see here. And if you have your fingers behind it like this and you're putting pressure outwards a little bit like that, like a tension, and then you go down and you keep popping it and putting your fingers in here, you won't press against this and make an indent because your fingers are doing all the um, prying. So we're gonna put my knuckle against here and we're gonna pry off my knuckle instead. Finger, whatever. And you need to go down until you find the next uh, retainer. And you can feel like right there, it was just giving. It wasn't actually um, putting that force to the retainer. Went down our inch, and I was right on top of the retainer, so I pulled it out. And you gotta simply do that all the way around and be patient. So there's one down here again. And again, I'm prying off my fingers instead. And after that, once you get part of it out like that, it's going to start coming out a lot easier. Almost use your fingers rest weight around. And this plastic's pretty strong, but uh, just take your time. And then this can simply go to the side. Now you don't need to disconnect any connectors on here. We're only worried about right here, but I'm going to disconnect this 4x4 switch and layer down so you can see a little bit better. Here's the part that got overlaid. So it has a push retainer that goes into the dash here too, so you just yank on this, and then that'll pop out. And then the rest of the retainers that actually hold this piece in are actually pretty uh, weak, I guess you could say. And you just follow it all, all the way around. Same thing as uh, this one, like that. And at this point, we want to um, actually put the key in and uh, have your parking brake on. And then we're gonna put the gear shift all the way down the drive one and uh, get it out of our way. Now on this one, we have the fancy uh, adjustable pedals. So right here, we got a connector for that. That's the first one that's gonna be in our way. Luckily, these retainers, these little tabs on here um, are very easy to push on. So you can just push them and then um, yank them out of here as long as you push them in all the way. So this one's out and then over here all you have is a headlamp switch. And I think the dimmer's a separate connector also. Now in order to pull this upper trim panel for the cluster out and separate it from the uh, column cover here, just pull up on it with your, your same pry tool 
all along here where it meets and that just snaps right into it and then we'll do the same thing going back together. At this point the cluster is ready to come out. First you want to do is get this gear indicator out of here and there's little black tangs right here and here. I can see I can release that one already. And it's kind of hard to do one handed but there we go. That one popped back in. Get them both released and then get this whole thing down and out of here before we um, pull the cluster out so we don't ruin it. Preferably something like that where it's down and out of the way uh, from the cluster so we don't damage the uh, delicate parts that are inside of there. At this point we can pull the cluster uh, turn the ignition off and then pull this 7 millimeter screw and same thing on the other side. After that just lay it to the side, it's something like this and then there's a little retainer tab right here. Undo that and your connector will come out. Get that to the side. There's one connector on this side. Disconnect that, get it out of the way. After that, it should be fairly easy to just angle it out of here so much apart. Now on the back side here, all these bulbs that are white, like so, instead of the gray ones, all the white ones should be your illumination bulbs. You can see they're all over the place on this one. That's about it. Um, these are a lot more complicated than the uh, 2006 and newer. But if you follow my directions, um, you'll be able to pull it out yourself without damaging anything. And that's the uh, whole point.